Hello and welcome to this tutorial about Azure DNS. My name is Navneet Kumar. I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer and the founder of TrainCrest Technologies. Azure DNS is a cloud service that allows you to host your domain names and manage DNS records within the Azure ecosystem. How does it work? When a user types a domain name, for an instance, www.traincrest.com into their browser, then a DNS query is sent to find the corresponding IP address for it. Azure DNS intercepts this query and provides the correct IP address, directing the user to the desired website or the server. Now, this Azure DNS, because it's a cloud-based service, can reduce the administrative overhead of managing the underlying infrastructure like the servers, their storage, compute, network, updating, and the security. Key features and benefits of using the Microsoft Azure DNS are it has the integration with uh, Azure so it seamlessly manages your uh, DNS alongside other Azure resources that you already have inside Azure. So you can use the same credentials, APIs or the billing to manage the DNS services as well along with other compute and storage related services. Security benefits from Azure's robust security measures to protect your domains and the DNS records as well. So you also get a better security. You get uh, high availability with this. In high availability, it leverages the Azure's global infrastructure for uh, reliable and fast DNS resolution. It offers the cost effective solution, which is uh, uh, pay as you go. So pay only for the resources that you use with no upfront cost or uh, not the underlying uh, underutilized data centers or the underlying infrastructure that is not uh, properly utilized. Then if I talk about some common use cases for this service, these common use cases can be of hosting the domain names for the websites or for the applications. Managing DNS records for the email services, for the FTP services or any other service that you want to use for the name resolution. For creating custom DNS zones for internal applications and the services, implementing DNS failover or the load balancing purpose, you can use it. Okay, so this is what uh, the you know capabilities of the Microsoft Azure DNS cloud-based services are. Now let us look into the demonstration of implementation of Azure DNS. I'll show you that how to host the DNS zones in Azure. All I need to do is I will go to the DNS zone. When I look for the DNS zones, I have two options, DNS zones and the private DNS uh, zones. In this tutorial, I'll talk about the uh, public facing domain name services or for the DNS zones. And I'll do a separate video on private DNS zones for the internal uh, DNS services to use. I'll go to the DNS zones and I'll create a DNS zone over here for my organization's domain. For an instance, it is going to be traincrest.com. Now this zone is a child zone or if you are going to do the zone delegation for an instance if my parent dns zone is traincrash.com and then i create uh, let's say partners.traincrash.com uh, another dns zone so i can define that okay it is going to be a child domain so single label name i need to assign uh, instead of providing this uh, uh, entire uh, fqdn for this like with dot com suffix or something else then i'll go to the dns zone editor so I'm not doing any editing right now over here for uploading any uh, zone files. I will add the records later on and I'll just click on the create button. Tag I have skipped in this uh, demonstration but in production we tag the resources for billing and for identifying the resources easily. Then I will finally create this DNS zone. You will see this is a matter of few clicks where you need to provide your DNS zone name that you want to host and then um, all you need to do is you need to manage the DNS records in it by uh, creating and uh, managing the different types of records like A record, Quart A record or um, you know uh, other different types of records for mail exchangers. So MX records are there, NS, Star of Authority. So we have different types of records that we can manage. This is the DNS zone that I will be having and it is deployed within few seconds as you see. Now Microsoft has provided me the four name servers. These are the name servers NS1 dash 07.azuredns.com then ns2 ns3 and ns4 so four name servers have been provided to me 
Uh, now I need to publish these uh, name servers into my uh, DNS registrar's records so that they become the name servers or authoritative name servers for the traincrash.com queries. Right now, if I go to the DNS management and for the record sets and I put any record over here, by default there are two records in the DNS that are there, start of authority record and the name server records. Name server provide all the name servers that we have and this is the start of authority the you know the primary uh, DNS uh, server which is the start of authority for this DNS zone. So I will go with this uh, add button and I will add the record. I'll choose the record type here. Based on the record type the parameters will change to require the specific value. So for an instance if I wanted to use for IPv4 I'll go with this. For IPv6 I'll do this. Okay so CNAME record, MX record for certificate authority, for service records, for pointer records, text records. So what kind of record I want to create. For an instance, I want to create a record and this is for my website, let's say www.traincrash.com. Now I need to put the IP address of my server where this website is running. So let's say this is running on, uh, uh, let's say 11.1.1.1. .1 it is the public IP of my uh, server where the website is running. It is not the actual IP address basically. I just put a uh, random IP address over here for this record. Now this record will be published and will be populated, but uh, if I do the NS lookup as of now, so this uh, query will be resolved with something else because like I mentioned that these name servers need to be registered uh, with the uh, domain registrar to you know be delegated that okay for traincrash.com these are the name servers to resolve the queries. What I'm trying to say is if I go to the uh, PowerShell uh, over here and I do the NS lookup to show you. so. Let's have a look to the NS lookup and if I say www.traincrash.com you will see this IP address will be different than the one which I provided. So the IP that I provided was 11.1.1.1 .1, but here this IP of the traincrash.com web server is actually this 13.107.246.68 it is that IP address for traincrash.com. So uh, anyways, I will not directly connect to that. So you see this IP address is not this one because these servers have not been registered with the domain registrar to resolve these queries. But I can use a trick to just see that whether these public uh, uh, DNS servers are available and uh, whether they can resolve the queries or not if they come to these. So I mean if I publish them as the authoritative, authoritative name servers. So I'll go to the PowerShell to check it and I will do NS lookup this time again for www.traincrash.com and I will point directly to a uh, name server. I will say that use this name server to resolve for this record www on traincrash.com. So this time this query will come directly on this server. It will land over here. It will intercept this into the IP address and will resolve it. So if I hit enter this time I'm able to see this 11.1.1.1 .1 but it was just for testing purpose. Um, usually when the queries over the internet will come so they will be routed through that uh, uh, root domain which you see at the end after the com so then to the com they will come then to the train crest they will come okay and the train crest server is different this is that uh, uh, server the you know uh, address of that okay so uh, this is uh, how we can uh, okay the server it was using uh, this one ns azure dns.com uh, this time it used this one okay earlier the IP address was this one for my public uh, application for my servers right so that's how I can do uh, this it used this port 53 to query this and it used that server 191.1.1 it is the uh, DNS server my local DNS server from where that request was sent for the name resolution I'm using the Azure front door so it is the name resolution to getting done for the CNAME record so it is a uh, complex infrastructure that I have deployed over here with that uh, CDN and front door deployed. So it's using that. Anyways, in nutshell, if I talk about the DNS service in Azure, so this allows you to hosting the uh, DNS zones uh, and it allows the flexibility, it allows the cost effective solution, it allows the reduced administrative overhead of the underlying infrastructure to manage for the public facing DNS zones. Uh, it allows the integration with the Azure services because you have lots of other 
network storage compute services running in Azure. So you can also have your DNS services running here so that you can use the same credentials, same billing, same API or the management tools to manage your DNS as well. So you have single window to manage everything. So that's about the Azure DNS zones. I hope this tutorial was informative to you. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments. And if uh, you find these videos informative or you have any feedback, please do share in the comment section. Um, thank you very much for watching this video and do not forget, forget to subscribe my channel. Uh, thank you.